It's Friday. It's time for the studio update. Coming up next, Tattoos of the Week from Wesley in Jack and the latest in body piercing news. So stick around. What's up, guys? Wesley here with my tattoo of the week. Uh, this week's tattoo was on my friend Amanda. I've been tattooing Amanda and her husband Abel on and off for the last couple, five, six years now or so. Um, they get a, a bunch of cool pieces. Um, so on Amanda here, we did uh, one of her favorite artists is Stephen Gamel, um, who some of you might recognize as the artist for Tales to Tell in the Dark or Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Some kids' tales from back in the day. I remember reading them when I was a kid, um, and he had some pretty pretty dark, scary stuff for those books. And so she really likes his art and wanted to recreate some of it. So what I did is I kind of found a couple of his pictures, kind of mashed them together, and then found a way to make it fit real nicely around her arm, which we got kind of wrapped around as a half sleeve. Um, yeah, it was a really fun piece. It was just black and gray, very much exactly like his style is. Um, a lot of soft shading. I like getting very fun with the with kind of the smoke, the kind of fog in the distance. Um, and yeah, overall, just a really fun piece to work with. Amanda's a, just a, an absolute joy to work with. She's super cool. Um, but yeah, hope you guys really enjoy checking that out. Um, give us a like uh, if you really enjoy that, and then a subscribe button there too. Otherwise, I know my weeks are kind of booking up a little bit right now. Um, I don't know exactly at all what they are, so just give me a call here at the shop and let's see what we got, uh, and we'll find some time to get you in. Cool? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Dalo here with the body piercing news of the week. Had a busy week. Very, very busy. Uh, did a lot of piercings, met a lot of great people, interacted with them, enjoyed myself, and I hope they enjoy their piercings as we speak. They ran me out of bin, ran me out of stuff. In fact, that cupboard up there, right there, where we uh, store most of the jewelry, is a bit barren. So, have some new jewelry coming in, hopefully later this week. On to content. On uh, last Saturday, posted the latest in the series, Pros and Cons by a Piercer, where I go through and discuss the advantages or disadvantages of a particular piercing to give you um, some education and some things to think about to know whether or not that's the right choice for you. Uh, last week on Saturday, I covered industrial piercings, uh, mainly helix to helix. Uh, I will put a link in the uh, description and also there'll be a little card over here, I believe. Click on the eye and it'll take you there or watch the rest of the video and then just look in the description. Um, the other thing that happened, on Sunday we posted the latest edition of Q&A in the Kitchen. If you haven't watched one of those, it's where we sit down and have a panel discussion about a particular topic. The last topic we did, the one that came out Sunday, is what pierce, or what tattoos or piercings hurt the most. Uh, we uh, The video version is already up, I'll put that in the description. Also the podcast version will be coming up on Sunday, um, and you can find that anywhere that you can find good podcasts, including uh, Google Play, Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, and etc. Uh, yesterday, posted the uh, latest installment of Body Piercing Basics, starting kind of a new series of how do you know if your piercer is being safe. I'm going to go through each week for probably about four or five weeks and cover things like uh, contamination, um, cross-contamination prevention, uh, decontamination, sterilization, sanitation, and all that fun stuff we do to make sure that you don't walk out of my studio with something you didn't come in with, other than a fabulous piercing. This episode I went through and uh, kind of broke down why we place things the way we do inside of a piercing station to give you kind of an idea of uh, some of the basis of what goes on behind the scenes. Um, I'm going to cover more stuff in the future. Tomorrow I'll be posting the latest in pros and cons by a piercer. Uh, the, the next episode is going to cover conch piercings. That should be up at some point tomorrow. Um, also, uh, exciting thing we did this week. Uh, we generally, most people don't understand this, but when we film Q&A in the kitchen, we usually do three episodes at a time and then spread those out over a six-month period and then record again. Um, 
we uh, sat down on Wednesday um, with an old time friend, mentor of myself, Sherry Sears from Creative Images. Uh, she added a lot to the conversation. We're going to break that up into three points. Um, talking about the changes in the industry over the last 35 years. Interesting stuff. You can see that. Um, probably the next one will be posted three weeks, or the first one will be posted three weeks from Sunday. So look for that. Other than that, till next time, have a good day. Take care of yourself. Take care of everyone else. And I hope to see you for your piercing needs in the future. What's up you tattoo creeps? It's that time for Tattoo of the Week once again. And I, as you might have guessed, have a tattoo for you to look at. It is of leaves. Dying, dead, decaying leaves. But they're pretty because they're colorful. So, uh, and they're on a, a pretty gal, so that even helps even more. Uh, so, two settings, um, probably four-ish hours altogether. Um, I've done lots of work on this young lady. Um, the piece right up on her shoulder proper, the, um, it's like uh, some bird feathers. That's not me. But most of it is. Uh, the leaves and stuff, uh, like I said, two settings, had uh, some fun with it. She kind of lets me um, take her ideas and run, so that always uh, is fun for me. And uh, I think it turned out pretty. There is a cover-up hiding in there um, that she had previously on her chest. So, uh, but uh, that was not a big part of it. So anyway, I hope you had fun looking at it. Uh, probably more of her to come, because like I said, we've got a couple sleeves pretty much done on her now and stuff like that. So you'll probably be seeing her pop up uh, from time to time as long, uh, as well as her husband, because I've got a lot of work on him as well. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, weather's warm, I like that, that's cool. Um, come in, get tattoos, um, pull Wesley's beard, and, um, and give us hugs. Who doesn't like hugs? All right, have a good one and we'll see you next week. So, you've seen the latest in body piercing news. Saw some tattoos. All that's left for you to do is say, hey, I like that. How do you do that? There you go. You give it a thumbs up. Then you subscribe if you want to get more of this in the future. Hit that notification bell if you want to be known. In the know. Know when these are posted. Otherwise, if you don't, you don't want to get 800 notifications. Don't hit the bell. Till next week, have a good day, and we hope to see you for your tattooing and body piercing needs in the future. Sorry. That's fine.